Hello everyone, today I shall be showing you how you can make your art pieces high quality. Now what do I mean by high quality? I mean literally high quality. As in, if you zoom in, if you zoom right in into the artwork, you will see each individual hair and pore of your art. No, I'm just kidding. It just it just means that uh, when you zoom in into the artwork, it will maintain that that crispness instead of going all fuzzy and blurry when you can begin to see the individual pixels. The first thing we're going to focus on is canvas setup. So I'm just going to go create a new document. I'm going to go up in the top right corner of the new canvas. As you can see, my canvas settings is maybe different than yours. I have here right now 4200 pixels by 4500 pixels with a DPI of 300. DPI is very important. DPI means to measure the number of pixels per inch. 72 DPI is classified as low quality, whereas 300 DPI is classified as high quality or high resolution. Do you necessarily always want to be using 300 DPI? No, you don't. It's really only if you know you are going to scale the drawing up and be viewing it on say a monitor or something. For example, if you're making Twitch emotes, you don't have to worry about this that much. So say you're going to be making a huge billboard advertisement. You're going to want to make it as big as possible so you are able to scale it up to that huge size or else you're going to end up with something like this instead of this. And that just is no good. It is currently at 2388 pixels, 1668 pixels. I'm going to be changing the DPI right now to 300. We have 164 layers available. It's very important to keep in mind. When Procreate, larger your canvas size goes, you will get less and less layers. Now when I go to scale it up, as you can see, the amount of layers we have drastically decreases. That is just something you really want to keep in mind. I don't feel comfortable going under 22 layers. I am someone who works with a lot and a lot of layers, like a lot. But if you're someone who, you know, uses the approach of one to three layers, you can pretty much just like go as big as you possibly want to go. Basically, you just want to create a canvas that is as big as your device can possibly handle. I go zoom in real close. You know, you're not going to be getting any sort of pixelation really unless you go super duper close. This is typically the size I will go for. And of course, as I said, you are limited to layers so I can show you the way I work around it. What I do is I have my drawing. This is the skin layer, eye layer. So I work in sections, so I will begin working on the skin. Ba, 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 ba. Pretend this is like 15 to 18 layers, which is usually the amount I will have on my skin. So then all I do is I just merge these all down together. And that way you're not going to be running out of layers. And then you can move on to the next it is kind of annoying and it takes some, you know, organization, which I know can be annoying. Procreate, that's just what you have to do. Now that we've touched on that, we're going to now move on to filters and editing. What do I mean by filters and editing? So once I've completed an artwork, I'm going to go into this app called Polar. It is my editing app of choice. This is what I use to edit once I've completed it. Okay, so I'm going to go. Here's an artwork that I have not added any filters to down to adjustments and you know after I messed around with the colors and stuff I go to detail I actually usually decrease the clarity to around like 30 here this actually just makes it look softer then I'm going to bump up the sharp and like all the way to about like 66. Now I'm going to go to green and add a little green and next add some depth of field and you just do that by uh, going to these the three little dots down here. So all tools and then go to down to the selection area and press radial and you will come up with this circle and so I'm going to go straight to the effects and then turn up the blur filter and this is going to 
blur the outer edges of the drawing. I believe that this just really accentuates the focal point of the image, which is her face and how high quality that is. And then sort of when you compare it to the outer edges, which are sort of more blurry, it really, as I said, accentuates it and I believe makes it look nicer. So I'm going to do that. And you can just edit this however you like. So I'm gonna keep it like that. Oh, and also I always add a little bit of fringing. That is what I do filter-wise to make my drawings look higher quality. The next thing we are going to focus on is AI enhancement. You may be wondering what does that mean? It's basically just using an AI website. You may have heard of them. Those image upscalers. This site is called bigjpg.com. It is a free to use website where you can just upload an image of your choice. I did a little experimentation on this using this picture, which is incredibly low quality. As you can see, the dimensions are 366 by 500 pixels with a dpi of 100 we're going to open that and all you have to do is press start and choose artwork the upscaling of your choice so demonstration purposes i'll use four times this is what it looks like before now it doesn't look bad like this but of course when you know you zoom in more and more you will get <laughs> it gets very pixely so it seems our ai enhanced photo is done okay so as you can see this does not look that good so <laughs> um from back like far behind it's kind of okay um let me just try this again actually now using ai image enhancements is not ideal as i said it's really only if you're desperate I advise you to use this. I always recommend you try and keep this in mind before you do your artwork. Um, okay, so this is a better example now. If you zoom in, you get a little, it looks a little weird and you kind of lose some of the details. But honestly, like if I saw this on my phone, I probably wouldn't notice. <laughs> so I think that, you know, it definitely can save you if you need it desperately okay well that was the video for today i hope this could have been of use to you uh let me know once again what you would like to see i plan on making a uh a clothing tutorial very soon how to color clothes uh so yeah keep on the lookout for that well i hope you have a wonderful day night morning evening afternoon wherever you may be in this universe today i shall see you all next time.